Mm. Please speak to that whole terms and, and uh, conditions of agreements. Because I remember when you spoke in there, that really opened my eyes up. Uh, because you, you said most of us don't even read it. Right. When we go to these sites, for example, yeah. we just check the box and say, okay, I agree. Right. But you mentioned that in the smart contracts, we have the ability to create our own terms and conditions yes. for our prosperity. Right. So this is a little bit of a technical question, and I am not a developer myself. Mm -hmm. But the reason why I use that example of like in the real world where you know you have the terms of service and the terms and conditions is that we have something that's similar in NFTs. It's known as a smart contract. Smart contracts are attached to the NFTs and smart contracts is basically just tells you what you're getting by purchasing that NFT and what transactions are being deployed. And you know, it might say like if you buy this NFT, you'll you'll receive i don't know you'll receive a tesla you know something whatever it doesn't have to be that it could be anything well, gary v says you'll get a free pass or tickets yeah to my you, exactly so with v friends if you purchase that nft in the smart contract it says that you're guaranteed access to the next three years of his conference known as vcon so exactly that's a great example um and so that actually is like we it's up to us to decide you know like what do we want to put in that smart contract you know we're not governed by a government or a venture capitalist it's really if you're creating the project yourself you have the ability to decide what you want to provide to your community known as utility that's known as utility and then us as the consumers that's why it's super important to build the relationship with the teams of these projects because the thing is about these smart contracts is they are written in a the computer language known as Solidity. Mm -hmm. So if you're not a developer, you're going to see all these symbols and all these codes, and you it's access you can access it. It's public, but how are you going to really read that and understand what you are purchasing as the consumer? And so that's another reason why it's like super important that you're building the relationship from your consumer to the team of the NFT project.